Shut up and sit down. Absolutely. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. All right, so, so we're going to ask a few, of, a few each for each of us here. So, uh, Mr. Trump, do you think that China will take over the world in the next 10 years? You know, a lot of people talk about China. A lot of China. people talk about China. They talk about it. They talk about it all the time. And they talk about China being the world's biggest superpower. And frankly, I'm not very worried about it. What superpower could China have? Invisibility? They're too big. Impossible. <laughs> you think about other superpowers? Are they going to fly? I don't think so. So I'm not worried about China being a superpower. I'm really not. Paul, oh, thank you very much, Mr. President. That's Makes a lot of sense. Question. You made a lot of yeah. sense right there. I, I, mean, I was kind of blown away by that answer. That's great. It, um, it's I was, a I was very worried. Question, an easier answer. It really is. Okay. Uh, all right. Next one up here. This one's a little personal. I hope you don't mind. Uh, you don't. You don't have to answer any questions. By the way, I know. I know. You, your people kind of, you know, told us you won't maybe talk about some things, but we right, hope so, you will. Um, we we'll see. Will. We'll see, boys. We'll see. What does Melania think of your over, overly sexual relationship with Ivanka? Well, it's a good question. You know, Ivanka had to get used to Melania getting more daddy time than she did. You know, she had to learn to adjust. Uh, but the one to really feel bad for here is Tiffany. I've met her a few times. I'm sure she's a nice girl, but that's the one to really feel bad for. Uh, yeah, that is a sad thing. Yeah, that was a, that was a whole thing, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Whole thing. I I mean, she seems lovely. That face, though. Ooh. Do you, do you but she touch, seems lovely. Did you want to touch more on that uh, situation at all, or touch more? See what you, you know mean. what I mean? You want to touch a little more on that? There? I mean, I'm sure Ivanka and Melania both wish I would touch a little more on it. <laughs> but, touché, sir. Touché. Uh, I mean, there's, I can only sign so many NDAs. I'm a very busy man. <laughs> I know, which is why we, we appreciate uh, you taking the time out today. Yes, of course. You. So as I was saying, the amount of money... I mean, the, the, the only thing cooler feelings. than extreme cooler talk Remember is the Nancy class Pelosi's right. little black Taught y'all how to make it rain? Wow. That's what I'm going to be doing every yes, cold single as ice, that night. Woman. Cold as yeah, ice. Yeah, I would imagine. Dollar I, got, Horse you know, I can only imagine what it's like down there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. That's be a real disaster. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Real nasty woman. Real nasty. 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 Yeah, nasty. Real nasty Agreed. woman. Agreed. Where are you? You're on uh, number three there. All right. So number next question. Here. Three. Okay. Are you ready? We're gonna keep firing the matches, sir. That sounds good. I'm ready for it. Now that have you successfully beaten COVID, in which. We appreciate everything you've done for COVID. Uh, does that solidify your victory in the upcoming election? Oh, look, of course it does. Look, we've cut down the testing dramatically. If you want to test, you've got to wait at least three weeks now. It's fantastic. So the testing is over. We've beat the gung flu. We've sent it back to China. Where it belongs. How, is, how can they be a superpower when I sent back the gung flu? You know what I mean? That's yeah. true. Oh, they would have deflected it, you know? Yeah. It's like Pong. It's like Pong. Yep. Exactly. They hit it to me, and I hit it back, and this time they're going to keep it, and I'm going to make sure of it. I've defeated the Kung Flu. Sleepy Joe couldn't have done this. He can't even tie his own shoes. I don't even he know can't why brush he's his own teeth. I don't know why he's a question. I don't even know why he's on the ballot, you know? He shouldn't be on the ballot. No. Frankly, I'm more concerned about a couple other people. But my point is this. I've beaten the Kung Flu, the Hong Kong flu if you will, and uh, we've done so terrific with it, of course, it solidified me for November. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Good to hear. We've got we no doubts. Here, There's we no doubts believe. in our mind. No doubts. You see, the polls that they're showing, the NBC polls and the CNN polls, these polls are rich. They show Joe Biden up 10 percent, 12 percent. Our internal polls show me up 193 wow. percent. Can you believe that? I can't 193 percent. That's got to be some wow. sort of record. That's crazy. That's it's amazing. astronomical. I mean, I'm I expecting to win every electoral college vote. Every single one? I wouldn't have expected any less. No, no. Uh, I heard about your the blood pressure uh, accounts up there. That's almost up there with your blood pressure. It's, it's uh, pretty wild. Well, I've been taking a lot of hydrochloroquine just for preventative measures at this point. I've heard it's very effective. 
I started and, three uh, days ago, so I'm hoping I get the same results as you. Well, one can help. One can help. I know you're in good health, buddy. I Thank know you. Are. Mix a little bacon but, in there. Uh, you're good to go. Yeah. Absolutely. Hydrochloroquine, four Big Macs, a couple of Diet Cokes, Diet. you'll be in as good a shape as Diet. Yeah. Really. Sounds, like a potion yeah. for, sounds like the potion for hope, success. We all hope to be as healthy it, it as is. at your age as young you are. Certainly. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm about 40 years younger than Sleepy Joe. A lot of people wow. don't know. That's, that's <laughs> wild. Little, little known fact. Wow. It's true, yeah. Hey, uh, speaking of American pastimes, I've got another American pastime here. Are you ready for this? Uh, truth or dare? Well, let's see. You know, it's it's a Friday night. I'm on Extreme Cooler Talk. I'm going to take the dare. I'm going to take okay. the dare. All right. Well, a, a, a lot of people, uh, they, I think they dared you just because they, they love this. Uh, they they, they want to see you do the water mouth. Oh, the water mouth. Everybody loves the water mouth. Who doesn't Except love the, the water mouth? Who doesn't love the water mouth? They, those Democrats hate that I can drink water in one fluid motion. They can't stand it. <laughs> they hate it. You want, me to see, you want to see the water mouth? Well, you, yeah, no, you you took the show us how to hydrate. Show us how to hydrate. I'm going to show you the water mouth, and it's going to be the best one the world has ever seen. Right here, wow. exclusive. Everybody, on pay attention show. to this man. Here it comes. I'm excited. <laughs> Nailed it. Wow. 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 So beautiful. Really my eyes good. couldn't even handle it. Oh, my really God. Amazing. Amazing. That was great. Wow. Thank you so that much. That was a sip and a half. Right, that okay. was beautiful. We appreciate that you. That was sir. really good. We yeah. appreciate oh. you. That's well, hydration. Anything. I mean, well, if anyone well, should win the election, it should just right. be well, on that alone. If I want my president to be able to drink water, he's got to be able to drink water that well. I mean, that's just unbeatable. Every time I drink water, I choke. You know, yeah. I yeah. Know. Let me tell you, I've spent a lot of time drinking water in my life. There's nothing I do better. People always come up to me. They say, Donald. How often do you drink water? I say, oh, God, a thousand times a day, at least. <laughs> I do it better than anybody. Everybody knows that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious from the evidence. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a master of the water intake. I'll, I'll give you that. I really am. I mean, I, you guys are masters of beer intake, but me, H2O, H2O. no question about no, it. No, Poland Absolutely. made a spring just for you. Like, that's how that's I feel. Right. Well, it's funny. I got the spring as part of a tariff deal I made. I'm good at deals. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you probably so own Poland deal. spring. I own everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Don't, like, what don't you own? Would you mm -hmm. say? Is there anything that you don't own? I I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Yeah. 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 I can't imagine. I, mean, I can't imagine either. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. nothing I can think of. No. Okay. So we'll move on to the next one here. This one, another personal one, but hey, we're we're here for it's it. Friday so, night, um, baby. I do. It's Friday. Um. So, what's the proper grip form when you're going to grab them by the pussy? Oh, that's important. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's see. That is a personal question, but I'll start with this much, okay? And this is important to remember. My hands are the size of the planet Mars. That's the first thing to remember. My hands are so huge. They're so huge. It's impossible for me to do the proper form. Physically uh, impossible. Okay. But I think it's important that everyone has their own form that they develop over time. I mean, whether it's, you know, full hand whether it's half hand, whatever you're doing, just just grab it. Just grab it. <laughs> just grab life by the oh, pussy. Yeah. Grab life by the pussy. I'm going to exactly. live by that. I like that. That's I like good. That. I, like that. I like what you did. Oh. I think that should be your slogan, honestly. I think that should be the slogan for America to call yeah. this, this next election. I think so. Well, I, I want to see that on banners, you know? I want to see it on banners. I want to see that plastered everywhere. Except for Nancy. Except for Nancy. Well, yes. Except for Nancy. Definitely not Maxine Waters. Oh, my oh, God. My God. Oh, gosh. I hate it. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, maybe, but still no. I think you probably got to beat that one with a bat. That's, that's, yeah. No. Oh, man. So and whatever, I like whatever you, you do in life, grab it by the palm. Yeah, and I like that you're alluding to the American individualism. You're saying that everybody needs their own form. I think that's a very important aspect of the yes. American uh, sentiment, the American culture. Don't follow a suit. Like be your own person. Yeah. Use but, the form that's best for you. But take charge. Well, that's... That is so astute, gentlemen, that every American has, should have their own way of doing things, whether it be going to work, beating the kung flu, or grabbing pussy. I agree with you. I think that's beautiful. You should write a poem. All right. I will. I'll work on it tonight. I'm gonna work Next week. You should. I'm going to work on some pinball grabs here. You know. That's good. Oh, oh. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. Uh, so you do like pinball that uh, we heard. Yeah. 
I do, yes. My favorite game, it's an old DM. It's called Liberty Bell. It's my favorite because I love Liberty and I love Bells. And when I say I love Bells, I mean Southern Bells around the age of 18. Give or take. Yeah. Round about, round yeah. about. As long as it's close. Same book, same book. Close, yeah. <laughs> Who's checking? So, uh, so recently, actually, this well, has recently, been, this, 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 little this little has little changed. Baby. Recently, Kanye West was... Uh, he declared his plans for running in the next election. He recently just dropped out, dropped out, dropped of, out, the, dropped out. So, he did. If he was in, still, your thoughts on this? And if he does, can you defeat this icon? Well, I don't think he could have beat me. I mean, you take Sleepy Joe's brain and Creepy Bernie's brain, and you put them together. You think it'd be two brains? It's only half a brain. You take Kanye's brain. It's a peanut. It's a tiny little shell. The man's done so many substances. He's a shoe designer. He's not a president. I'm a businessman. I make deals. Everybody knows I make deals. I make the best deals. Yeah. I don't think he's capable of being president, so I'm glad he dropped out. I think that was the best decision to preserve whatever little dignity he has left. He met with me, and that was only to learn more about how to operate the desk. Remember when he met with me? Yeah. He kept asking questions. How do you open those drawers? Where are the fancy pens? That's all he ever asked me. Did you? So I was a little suspicious. Uh, I'm assuming you never had to ask anyone these questions. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't use the pens. Someone else does. Smart man. Smart man. Not a pens anymore. Right. I actually like a number two pencil. It reminds me of when things were a little bit simpler in this world. And you can always erase it. And you just use Twitter anyway. You just use Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, I use Twitter. I use the phone. I use the phone. That's a better form of writing anyway. Who needs a pen? That's right. It's true. That'll be your turn there. Oh, great. All right. Um... Do you regret becoming POTUS, and why? Oh, I have no regrets. Look, I've had a fantastic time as president. It's been a great, great, great fun time. I've, uh, I've made so many new friends, as I'm sure you know. Uh, the media loves me like you wouldn't believe. Uh, my inauguration was huge. It was a massive party. Uh, I, was, I, was, I, believe... I, I hope that we can come next time. Oh, next time. Oh, you better oh, be. Oh, you guys didn't go. I was actually there. Oh, I didn't know you yeah. were there. Yeah, I was. Oh. I went. Well, I saw you. I think I saw you. Yeah. But there were so many people. It was about a million and a half, a couple million people there. Wow. It was outrageous. Uh, the White House is always full of people that say, "Hi, Donald. How are you? You look great today." I have no regrets about being president. I've had so much fun, and uh, I've got to do a lot of golfing. A lot of golfing behind closed doors. So I've had a lot of fun. No regrets. So cheers to no. another. Cheers to another four years. And oh, absolutely. Another four years. Might even be eight years, 12 years. Who knows? I'll hey, find my way. You can always change a, change a yeah. rule. You, know? yeah. you, know, you make the rules, right? Yeah. 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 You never know. You might get lucky. I think, I think after my eight years are done, I think my son's going to step in, and I'll be part of the cabinet. I think so. You could probably do a vice president at that point. Yeah, you could probably do it. All right. Or just president again. I'll find a way. <laughs> There's always a way. And speaking of always that... It's kind of a natural transition here into our last question for you. Um, sure. You've claimed that if you lose re-election, you will not relinquish control of the presidency. Do you still stand by that statement? Well, like I've said, my poll has me up 193%. 193%. There's no feasible way that I could lose the presidency. If they did, if I were to lose the presidency, it would be fraudulent. You know this. The mail-in voting. <laughs> okay, the, they're sending ballots into cats and dogs, to gerbils, to fish. They're sending them to people that have been Democratic donors and long deceased. They're sending them to inanimate objects. I heard about a Democratic woman who sent in a mail-in ballot for her mailbox, the mailbox itself. So I see these things happen, and I say, and there's no way I'm going to lose. It's physically impossible. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Well, wow. by that logic, I think you're absolutely correct. And, 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 and I, as you know, my logic is perfect, oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Every, and from what, one of right. your recent tweets, I saw you had uh, said that your uh, your uh, approval rating within the uh, Republican Party is up to 96% now? It's actually 101% now. Oh, wow. Uh, so what happened was, new Republicans, huh? We found a couple libertarians that were oh, really confused. Really go. confused libertarians. And I said, look, just come here. There's candy in the van. And they came on over, these old hippies. And I've convinced them to vote for me. Who doesn't like candy wow. in the van? That's, a, that's an that's, amazing uh, accomplishment. Because libertarians are uh, 
Uh, notoriously stubborn. So you did well there. They're very stubborn. They smell weird. Is there anything that you can't do that you don't win at? Is there anything you, that you don't win? Nothing yet. Wow. Nothing yet. Wow. I mean, I, I've been a politician for four years almost, and I've won every race I've been a part of. So. I don't know about you guys, yeah. but that's, that's, that's my kind of president. It's a testament to how successful I've been, how successful this country is, and how we're going to keep it so fantastic over the next four years. I'm telling you, gentlemen, Absolutely. the Trump train is going 150 miles an hour. I'm its conductor, and everybody else is lining up. Wow. Buy, buy a ticket. Yeah. Watch, watch the I, show. I, send me I, a ticket. I, I, I actually wanted to, uh, after we get done with this interview, maybe talk to you about some, um, maybe some skin products that we can actually um, be like you. You know what I mean? Like, like be like Trump. Well, the yeah. skin is I, I think we can get a business plan going. Our right. coloration is nowhere near as radiant as yours. No. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all washed out. Yeah. You know? And... Hey, yeah. do you want to see if we got any, I don't know if we had any participation on chat. Would you, if we have questions do you have on any chat, free time? do you have a moment to answer any uh, from the people? Look, again, it's Friday night. It's Extreme Cooler Talk. I'd love a couple questions okay, from well, the, I'm see. sure thousands and thousands of Why people in the chat. Why do you cheat in golf? <laughs> oh, oh, that is question our first question. From Why do you chat? cheat in golf? Ooh. Do I cheat in golf? Was that the question? Well, they, well he, didn't, he didn't say do you. They said, said why, why do you? Uh, insinuating why that you do. 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 Yes, yes. Look, I've never cheated a day in my life. I got a small loan from my father about 55 years ago or whatever it was now. And I've taken that loan very honorably. I've built my business very honorably. I got into office very honorably. Everything I do is honorable. Trust me when I tell you. I mean, Believe look, look me. Look at your face. Look at your skin. That's an honorable face. It's the most know. honorable face in the world. I, I would agree. The only more recognized <laughs> face in the world. Why did you dodge right? the war? That's the next question. Next okay, question. so next question from chat is, why did you dodge the war? Why did I dodge the war? My bone spurs real bad. Oh, okay. Real bad bone spurs. I mean, yeah, I, I go know. golfing sometimes, and I have to have my trainer actually take off my shoe and wrap my heel. That's how bad my bone oh, spurs are. Wow. That's right. And you've, wow. had I mean, those, you've had those since uh, since back in the wartime? Since I was born. It was a wow. birth defect, whoa, 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 actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Birth actually, defect we're, we're bone spurs. grateful because we, maybe you wouldn't have been here today. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so that's, that's true. It's probably a good thing. The country know? is in a better place now because of what happened in the past. True, yes. Everything because I dodged reason. the war, the country yes. is so much better. Oh, absolutely. It, you wouldn't even believe it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wouldn't even believe it. Now, if you had been able to get into the war, this is from me, not from chat. Um, okay. What do you think your role would have been? Do you think you would have been more of a field guy? Would you have been in, you know, on the front lines? Do you think you would have been better as more of like a, a captain or maybe a general? What do you think you would have been? I would have been treasurer of the army in about five minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have been treasurer of the army. I would have been managing their money. I would have been a big general, big time. Okay. They would have seen that I was a fantastic marksman, the world's greatest athlete, and the greatest business mind. They would have seen I came from Wharton Business School, such a great business school. You know this. That's a good one. Any other questions? That's a good business school. Exactly. Why don't you do something about that hair? Well, I don't know if I agree with that question. They're, they're, I mean, my they're questioning my hair, hair sir. At the, my hair is rich and full. It's all mine, as you can see. I'm telling you right now, my hair has been with me for a long time. I, I, I think something's wrong there with their screen. I think that's what the real Yeah, I, is. I, I apologize yeah. if they, they came across rude or yeah, disrespectful yeah. in any way. I, Your hair is beautiful, sir. I wish that my, I, my hair was full and luscious like you. I actually, I actually needs... do have one more question. Can, can you tell us a little bit more about your role in Home Alone 2? Like, because like, that was a very focal point of, of your career. It I changed my life. I'll tell you that. Yeah. You know, I'm so glad to get that question. I don't get asked non-political questions anymore. It's true. <laughs> Home Alone 2 was a fun time. I got to be on the set. They, they set out the red carpet for me. Uh, of course, I was very hesitant. I don't like being on camera. A lot of people don't know that. I don't like talking in public. <laughs> but it's I true. I, I, did the, I did the film, and uh, everybody loves it and remembers it for my scene. It was such a great scene that I did. I think that was the, 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 uh, the scene that really tied the whole movie. It was the pinnacle. It was really the yeah. pinnacle. God, well, it, it really was the climax of the film, if you think was. about it. Yeah. It really After was. After that, you might as well turn it off. I mean, if it wasn't for your hotel, there would be no movie. Absolutely not. True. That's exactly it. And the other thing to remember is when they released Home Alone 2 on Blu-ray, 
they released an extended version of my scene in the film. This is true. It was one tenth of a second longer, and it featured my hair moving a little bit. It was beautiful. Wow! Wow! I, I, I can't go imagine. Buy it. I'm gonna go buy it now. Yeah, that doesn't I happen. Think it's a lot to get that. That's that's yeah. inside. That's inside information. You're only gonna find here. At Extreme Cooler Talk. Yeah, they included more of me because they had to. If you haven't watched Home Alone 2 lately, go check it out and watch Mr. Cheap Jones' president hair move around. It's a classic. It's true. i got another uh, non-political question for you. I think that I think we can all say that your time on the show, The Apprentice, was probably your uh, what seemed to be your prime. I think that you were just operating on another level during that time. Can you speak a little bit about your experience on that show? Well, I had a lot of fun on Celebrity Apprentice. I had one season with Meat Loaf. Tom Green and Gary Busey all in the same room at once. Wow. And it was wow. uh, it was really shocking to have all those individuals That's in the same cast right there. At once. Oh, it was an all-star cast. I picked them personally. I said we have to get the best of the best of the best. So we got Dennis Rodman and Tom Green and we got Lisa Lampanelli and we got all these fantastic A-list mega stars. They're impossible to book. We Tom Green is almost as busy as I am. Let's wow. be honest. <laughs> I don't but, the fact of the matter is, I was so good on The Apprentice. The scenes were made for me. I wrote the show. I produced the show. I edited the show. I starred in the show. I was the show. You and I had the, the best show. ratings. Mm. I had the best ratings. Your, but your so ratings good. then were almost as good as your presidential ratings now. I would say so. Do you have any plan on bringing the show back at all? Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, White House season two is going to be really interesting. So <laughs> <stay> <laughs> Touché, what are your seasons? sir. Um, now, a lot of people think that you got a thrill out of firing people. Is that true? Oh, of course I did. That was the most fun part for me. You see a smile break out of me right yeah, now. I love to fire people. I mean, just for kicks, could I fire you guys right now? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do it. Guys of Extreme Cooler Talk, you're fired. Oh, no! Oh, no! That's oh, right. That felt you know so you good. You are, Mr. That's President. Oh. You're beautiful. You're sexy. You're extreme. We want you better to thank believe you it. From the bottom of our balls, thank you for being here on Extreme Cooler Talk, and we would love to have you back sometime, maybe after you win re-election. How about that? We're gonna have some that sounds bells. great. I, I'll have to bring you to the next inauguration, guys. Oh, Thanks for absolutely. having me. Thank and you. Listen, Keep it cool. And listen, I want everybody to uh, go follow Mr. Cheap Trump on Instagram. Go check him out. That's Cheap Trump on Instagram. Instagram. Do you have any other uh, media that you want to tell anyone about? That's it, folks. At Cheap Trump on Instagram, all one word, no spaces, no dots, no hyphens, no www. Nothing okay. extra because uh, you're the real deal. That's it. I'm the real deal. At Cheap Trump, baby. Awesome. All right. Thank you so Thank much, you, sir. I, I appreciate well, you. We'll, we'll get on some Liberty Bells later.